How's it going guys? This is Anthony with Innovation and Tech today, live at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. I'm with stunt scientist Steve Wolf today. How, how are you today, Steve? I'm doing great. Having a, this is an amazing festival. Yeah, is this your first time here? Uh, this is the uh, second time I was here. I was here four years ago and uh, we drew a crowd of over 1,500 kids who wanted uh, to see how science is used to set up movie stunts and special effects. Well, I was going to get into that. What really drew you to kind of the science of stunts? Well, I think in my experience, most little boys are naturally stunt scientists, right? right? We like to figure out like how do we blow up our Legos and how do we blow up our electric train set and right. my parents gave me great advice when I was a kid. They said figure out what you like to do, find out how to get paid for it. I know. You, you, so. From your show you could tell you're just having like tons of fun up there too. <laughs> Um, now, I know you've called like, Hollywood movies a gold mine for teaching kids science and yes. engineering. Uh, could you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, the technology that goes into creating movie stunts and special effects is actually some of the most well-funded STEM work in the world. They spend more money trying to figure out how to blow up cars you know, than they do solving diseases, right? <laughs> uh, but in every society, you know, what gets paid most is what's rewarded, and, and people will pay a lot of money to be entertained. So Hollywood spends a lot of money trying to figure out how we make the bigger explosion, the higher fall, the bigger crash, the huger ripping open of the earth or whatever they're trying to do. And so this is all done using physics, using chemistry, using optics, using computer generated imagery. And that all of that is STEM driven. Now do you have a personal favorite kind of Hollywood stunt that uh, you like to explain? You know my favorite uh, is blowing up cars. Oh, yeah. I've blown up hundreds of cars for movies and television shows. Uh, we have to take everything out of the car that's flammable because we want to make sure that the only thing burning are the fuels that we put in there so we can control it and then we can load exactly the fuels we want, how much lift charge we want, whether the headlights blow out or, whether, or they don't. Um, so it's, it's fun artwork. Yeah. Do you have a favorite type of car to blow up, by the way? Uh, domestic cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Um, just kind of wrapping up here, too. You know, what do you want people uh, walking away from your presentation to kind of take? Well, I think that it's really important for kids to understand that when they're watching a movie, they are watching science. They're watching math. They're watching engineering. And a lot of kids think that science is just a subject you take in school, but it has no application. But when they go and they see their favorite movie stars blowing up on screen, that's the work of scientists. And if you take that away, then you understand that science is really exciting, and science is a tool that you can use for solving virtually any problem. Uh, definitely. Do you have any advice for aspiring stunt scientists, by the way? Uh, study all the things you can because you never know what you're going to need. Awesome. Great advice. Hey, so great to meet you, man. Yeah, great show up there. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the festival. Till next time, this is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today, live at the USA Science and Engineering Festival.